Hey everybody, welcome to the show. This week we're talking Disney's Magical Express. Coming to you live from the Bob Varley Studio in Orlando, Florida, you're watching The Trip. for the week of January 6, 2016. The trip is brought to you by Dreams Unlimited Travel, experts at helping you plan the perfect vacation, whether it be theme parks on the West Coast, East Coast, or on the seas. Visit them on the web at www.dreamsunlimitedtravel.com. Hello, everyone. This is the trip, our crazy attempt about talking about travel, family, and all the craziness in between. I'm Jenny Lynn. I'm Teresa. Who are you over there? And I am Jackie. Where'd you come from? Why are you here? <laughs> I came from... I just went off script. Sorry. <laughs> I came from, you know, you know, that land of pixie dust over there, you know. Oh, I just floated on in. And then back in the production nook is our producer, Craig Williams. Oh, we already talked about this. We are going as Gelman, because you never know if it'll be me or Rhino here. It's Gelman. That's just Gelman. true. One of our issues we'll be getting into. Gelman. Our producer every week will be anybody's guest. You never know. It's going to be different all the time. So, But this be week, it is Craig Williams. Yes, because of the daily fix and everything that's happening with that. We don't know who's going to be here quite when yet and all that good stuff. So. Okay, so you're both here today. What? <laughs> is it like two Gelmans or Gelman and a half? Uh, no, today, well, Rhino's off mic today. So for any audio listeners out there or video listeners, that's... That's why we're Pierney not really referencing him. Pierney guttural noises isn't eating his sandwich yeah. over there. No, it's, uh, he's off there today. He was just helping out getting everything ready for oh. me to step in, and he decided to stick around, but so he has nothing to say. So he's here for our viewing enjoyment. Absolutely. Okay. Cool. Look at that, Look yeah. at that sexy guy. <laughs> he's got hair. Okay. okay, so we've got quite a few new changes coming up with this new year, as we've already mentioned. Um, Rhino and Craig will be co-producing the show throughout the year, so you'll get to see both of their lovely faces on rotation. And our biggest change, as you may have already noticed, is Jackie Gailey has joined the team for 2016. Hey, everyone. I'm really excited to be here, and I'm looking forward to everything we have coming up in 2016. Yes, quite a bit of it, which actually brings us to our issue. Well, first flop of the year. Yay! Well, it wouldn't be the trip without a flop, so here we are. Okay. Um, <laughs> woo! All right, listener, we got a listener email from Steve Gitler in New Jersey, and he writes to us, the reason for this email is to give a comment suggestion for the show. I know we are probably in the minority among the Diz community, but we do not stay in the Disney bubble 24-7 when we visit. We stay off-site. We eat multiple meals off-site, and we visit off-site attractions. That's a big reason why I love the trip. It has taught me about a lot of things I might not have otherwise known about. I know you've said you're going to start having more Disney content. I hope you'll still have a focus off-site, though. Love the show. I thought that we would take this listener email and use it as an opportunity to let you know about some of the changes that will be coming to the trip, since obviously some of you are concerned about that. Um, what changes? You mean like every third week we're going to do a cooking episode from someone's kitchen? Something like that. Cool. <laughs> the, it's going to be called the, the mobile kitchen. I don't awesome. know. Uh, no, obviously okay. that's not correct. We are making things up at this point. One of the big changes um, that was mentioned before is we are adding Disney content to the show. I know a lot of you are really excited about that because quite a few of you are Disney fans and coming to Orlando for the purpose of visiting Disney. So that content has now been open to us. You're free to write to us about things that you would like to see on the trip. If you have questions, uh, particularly vacation planning questions that you would like to have answered, um, this is something that we can begin to address. Um, and we're going to have a dedicated discussion once a month to something very specifically Disney-related. Cool. What? And that's all she's got. <laughs> what? I'm looking forward to those in-depth what pants is Mickey wearing this week discussions. I don't know. I think it'll be fun. I like Disney. Love Disney. 
<laughs> it broadens, gives us just more to talk it about. It does broaden our horizons yep. a little bit. also gives us the opportunity to talk about the Disney vacation experience from a mom's perspective, since all of us are moms. And I guess with that, we should maybe give you a little bit more of a thorough introduction, Jackie. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Oh, sure. Um, well, I I have two teenagers. Um, our son is 18 and our daughter's 14. Um, so things are changing with the way we tour the Disney parks as the kids get older. Um, character meet and greets, not so much. And um, it's really kind of fun, actually, to do them. Um, when we do do them, rarely, it's fun for the kids to watch my kids like to watch the little kids interact. So that's really fun. Um, I also have some experience. Um, I was a Disney Parks Moms panelist for Walt Disney World for two years. I was active 2013 and 2014. So that's a lot of fun. Um, and got some great experience was with that. Um, and I'm also the community manager for disboards.com. And I help with finding moderators and um, coaching them and just kind of oversee, overseeing things going on on the boards. So if you see me over there, stop over and say hi. Yeah. We, we thought that she'd be a good addition to bring over here to the trip with her mom's panel experience and also with her, uh, she's always got her fingers on the pulse on what's going on Diz board. So here she is. Um, <laughs> Happy to be here. Yeah, but with that, uh, we just want to say the uh, that Orlando as a whole, Steve Gettler, we're talking to you, is still in our wheelhouse. We will still be addressing um, attractions, maybe sometimes restaurants and even off-site hotels from time to time um, here on the trip, um, which I think is something we're all pretty excited about. Just that'll be rotating every month. Cool. <laughs> okay, I was waiting for the... There we go. <laughs> um, I'm still trying to recover from the new year and all of that. I think we all are. I mean, it's getting hard getting... Getting in the 2016. This is the exactly. future, people. This is it. This yep. is, We're here. This is as good as it gets. Yeah, I'm still kind of trying to get myself going yeah. a few days back, later. Back, your kids go back to school, Jackie, already? They started back today. Yeah. Wow, a little bit later than yeah. I was. Yeah. It's weird. Yeah, yours are back, right? Oh, so, yeah, yeah, they, yeah, they started on Monday. Yeah. So trying to all get in, back into the swing of things. Um, another thing that we are going to be doing a little bit more here on the trip is uh, using the issue a lot of times um, to give you guys to address listener feedback. We love it that you're writing to us. We want you to continue doing that. And when you do so, we will probably uh, be using what we get from you to talk about during the issue. So keep those emails coming, comments coming on Facebook, tweet to us, all of that, so that we can address your issue as well as our issues on the show. Uh, you can write to us at the trip at disunplugged.com. And probably the last thing that I wanted to kind of address was that we are kicking it up a notch with our social media. We've got everything really uh, on board, up and running um, regularly. So Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, and Periscope. Follow us on all of them. We are at Diz the Trip. So uh, on to the next issue, though, because we did have a recent issue that just came up this morning. And that was something that was announced with TSA regulations. Is that correct, Jackie? Yeah. You want to tell us a little bit about that? Sure. So um, the the Department of Homeland Security has given uh, a couple of uh, new updates here with the uh, back in the fall, it was widely re reported that people from the uh, from four of the U.S. states may need a passport to fly domestically this year. Um, now the Department of Homeland Security has increased the list of U.S. locations not offering state driver's licenses that comply with the new federal regulations known as the Real ID Act. So this was um, released at about 9.15 this morning. Um, the complete list is now Alaska, California, Illinois, Minnesota, Missouri, New Jersey, New Mexico, South Carolina, Washington State, Puerto Rico, Guam, and the U.S. Virgin Islands. So under the Act, all licenses must be equipped with machine-readable technology, which typically comes in the form of a chip. The IDs being issued now are considered non-compliant. So um, basically, if you live in any of those states, you have an issue. 
Yes. So if you live in that state, not if you're traveling to that state. Minnesota. If you live in if it. you live in that state. Okay. Yeah, because if you ha your driver's license from that state is no longer valid mm -hmm. as ID in airports. So you can't leave your airport. They won't let you through TSA. Yeah. It really sucks. So you'll need to get a passport. You have to get a passport if you're in those states at this point. Mm -hmm. And until the states change their driver's license, you know, make it, what did they call it? Something The compliant? little chip. ID compliant. Was yeah. Florida on that list? Or we have a little We're chip? We're good. On? We're good? We don't have an issue here. With machine readable technology. New Jersey, all of you guys, you have an issue. All of Illinois. All of Chicago. Washington mm -hmm. State. Washington State. That's a lot of. Crap load of people. It's almost yeah. a fifth of the country. There's nine states there. So Yeah. It's a lot. Um yeah. Pity. Wow. Sucks for them. It really does. <laughs> Sorry guys. Um, on to happier things. We're gonna be talking about the Magical Express today. So how about we get into a little bit of trip talk? This is for people that are flying in from the states that can get here. That's right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. For all of you that live in those states we just mentioned, you won't be getting on Magical Express. Wait, go back. When does that become effective? Is it like instantly, or are they going to give them a little time? You know, it does. Uh, let's see. I hope they're going to give them a bit of a time, because if you're traveling in a week it's, and you don't It'll have be a, too soon to get a passport. Yeah. I would think they would have to make allowances for that. As of, okay, the Department of Homeland Security has given Alaska, California, New Jersey, and South Carolina an extension, allowing federal agencies to accept driver's licenses from these states until October 10th of 2016. Everybody else SOL? Mm, yeah, that's, I guess that's so. what I'm seeing. Wow, interesting. Hopefully there'll be some more information uh, put out about this. It's all for the greater good, I'm sure. Quickly. Well, okay, I was just know. wondering. Safety yeah. and all that good stuff. Um, all right, back to Magical Express. We went to Facebook and asked you guys to give us your comments about your personal experiences on Disney's Magical Express. Magical Express being the bus shuttle that picks you up. Excuse me while I belch out of the microphone's sound area. Um, <laughs> oh, Galvin's talking. Oh, it's been a day. Okay. Go ahead. Um, Disney's Magical Express being the bus that picks you up from the airport and takes you to your Disney resort. Would you like to read some of these comments from our lovely sure. viewers? I'm going to read them out of order. I'm just going to go random. Go rogue she on you, okay? She loves throwing those monkey wrenches. In Carrie Ann Knight. Works. I have used it three times so far and always had a really positive experience. Each time we have walked up to check-in, walked up to our resort line, and immediately boarded our coach. It is all, is it always this good? Is it actually one of the reasons we stayed at Disney Resort so that we don't need to get a hired car? Cool. So she likes it. <laughs> she does. But is it always that good? I don't know. We'll find out. We'll talk about what that. What do other people have to say? Right? Constance Iverson. I've used it five times, so she's done it more than Carrie. And didn't have any problems until last time in 2014. I was traveling during a quiet time in September 2014 and didn't get my luggage for five hours after check-in. I went to Bell Services to check on it at 9 p.m. that evening, and when I discovered it, never got delivered to my room when I returned from a park. Wow. So mm -hmm. she was out her, without her panties and such for quite a while. I guess so. That sucks. <laughs> it could be an but inconvenience you, you have to if you need. Think about the massive amounts of luggage they are moving. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a wonder that it's kind of mind-boggling. It is bit. when you think about it. You know. Yeah, it's, mm -hmm. it is and a wonder that the they have the track record of that they have. Black luggage and dark blue luggage. You know, I, mean, I don't know. So it's a lot. Lighten up, Constance. You got your luggage. It's good. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, I just love you so much. It's really good that you're here today. Just, you know, <laughs> she got her luggage. It's all good. <laughs> it's all good. But you know what? This reminds me. Don't put anything in your luggage that you don't need instantly, like mm -hmm. medications and stuff like that. Keep it with you. Mm -hmm. because Absolutely. Anything Same can happen. Same as when you're boarding the cruise. Right. You got to keep that carry-on bag with you. Keep it with you because, you know, your luggage will get to you eventually, but it might be a little delayed. 
Yeah, maybe it, it took might, a tour to some other resort. You it know could know. happen to you. You know, another thing that's really important to mention, too, is that if you don't want to hear a little tap, tap, tap on your resort hotel room door at three in the morning, let them know at Bell Services that you want them to just hang on to your luggage and you'll call down in the morning when you're ready. If it hasn't. If it hasn't oh, been wait. delivered. Now, now I've got a million questions coming up from that statement. Let's, mm-hmm. We'll get through the last of these comments and then right. start getting the You want questions. me to read them all? Oh, wow. Uh, let, well, let's yeah, let I mean, the new girl over there. Well rounded. This new one. Sure. Yeah. yeah. That let's new have one. Well okay. rounded. Uh... That Go new ahead. One. Okay. So Brenda Warfield Gray says, "I have always had a good experience with it until this last trip. When I got to the airport, it was packed. Not sure why things weren't moving, but I did notice it seemed more people were there with their luggage instead of Disney picking it up." Okay. So because you do have the option to handle your own luggage you have that option oh, that's interesting. so okay I, some people do choose to do that all right and then james mon Sizinski. did you want to take Is that the way you're going with that yeah. yeah okay go ahead So um, James says, it is the reason to stay on Disney property. Rental car companies hustle you for more money, such as collision, damage waivers, paying for a full tank of gas. Trust me, use Disney's Magical Express. All right. So we've got a little bit of a variety and opinions here. Some people love it and think that it is the reason to stay on Disney property. And some people think that, you know, there's still a few kinks in the system but let's talk about what it is first so what is disney's magical express who wants to take it it's one bus rotates back and forth to the resort (laughs) do do not listen to Teresa. she is lying to you so you could wait 10 minutes or five tried tied to the top no (laughs) magical express is a service that disney provides that will pick you up orlando international airport and take you to any disney resort and that's the key word, Disney, Disney resort. resort. They're not going to take you to, you know, something down the, Hyatt. the road. They're not right. going to take you to Wyndham Hotel. They're right. not going to take you to the Hilton. So this is Disney's way of keeping you on their property, if you want to look at it that way. And it does keep a lot of people in the bubble. There is no charge for this. Um, they'll pick you up just about, I think, any time at the airport. You have the option of them taking your luggage separately. And it, your luggage will not be in your bus if that's the way you go it comes in a separate they pick it if i understand this correctly right they pick it up and take it if you take it on the bus yourself um and the bus driver has to handle it, be prepared to tip him a little bit it is a free service but that's not what he's there to drive your bus and he'll help you with your luggage but give him a little tip how much do you recommend tipping i would a dollar maybe two bucks a bag just depends on what you're what you're asking him to do you know if he's toting your bag jl I'd give him five because it's usually <laughs> oversized and heavy. <laughs> if it's my bag, a buck would do. Now, <laughs> sorry, yes, you exaggerate. So you much. Uh, you brought up it won't take you to off property. Will it take you to the Swan and Dolphin if you're staying on Disney Resort technically? But those aren't part of the Disney Resort family. It does go to Swan and Dolphin, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. That's something recent. It's in years, I would say, not in. I believe that it does go to the Swan and Dolphin. It is select Disney resorts. So they have that select in there because sometimes things change. So always check with your booking agent. So you're saying it doesn't go to all Disney resorts. Well, let me, I, what I'm going to do is, so they've got their list at uh, the regular Walt Disney world website And they've got a list there of the resort hotels that are serviced by Disney's Magical Express. Um, And let's see here. So the Swan and Dolphin are not listed there currently. I know that that's gone back and forth. Um, But they are not. Yeah. And I would I would say that they don't go to the di- downtown Disney hotels. Well, no, no they not, don't. Not, no. Mm-mm. But any I'm, I'm, we're talking all star, any moderate value, Deluxe. all the DVC, they're going to go to all of that. Yeah, I mean, without a they doubt. Do. I wouldn't yep. include the downtown Disney resorts as 
a Disney resort. No, resorts. No. The Swan and Dolphin. I just, just it's that gray line because they are mm-hmm. right they there. They are but, on. Yeah. yeah. You know property. what the difference is? Is that the Swan and Dolphin, even though they're on Walt Disney World property, they're not Walt Disney World owned and operated. Right. right. And so typically the way they word this is Walt Disney World owned and operated resorts, but um, this says select ones so they kind of reserve that right to change so i always recommend that you just double check it so if you're doing your own booking you'll be able to see if you're staying at the swan or dolphin yes but if you are staying at an official disney resort it's pretty safe to say you will be able to access yeah disney's magical express even the campsites and campgrounds at fort wilderness yep are on there absolutely yeah swan dolphin's a definite no yeah and i just got that from my reliable source Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Teresa and her secret, you know, <laughs> her people secret. that do her secret legwork. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's the bat phone. Leg. That was the bat phone. <laughs> that was, the that bat was just phone a backup. Right my backup, girl. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So how does this thing work? For example, where do you sign up for it? Uh, do you pick up your own luggage if you don't want to? How does it, How is this determined? Um, where do you pick up the bus once you get off the plane? How do you know when to get picked up from your resort to return well, to the airport. Okay. Once you have made your reservation and you have your, with your resort, your Disney resort, and you have your flight information and you know you're going to use Magical Express, you can arrange it several ways. If you're using a travel agent, your travel agent can take care of it for you. And they need all the pertinent information like where you're flying from, where you're obviously you're flying into Orlando. Airlines, flight information, flight number, all of that, and the time. They need all of that to set that up for you. And they can do this at any time um, right up until, I think, I want to say the week before you travel. I don't recommend doing it. I've done it the day before, but it's a hassle to try to get through all of that and get it done. But um, also, um, you have the option to go on your My Disney Experience and set it up that way. Okay. So um, that's a good feature, and I like that because... My Disney Experience being the app that you can download right? on your smartphone. Your smartphone, or you, on your computer. You can go in, and I use mine you know, for your dining and all. You can set up your My Disney Experience that way, too. Mm-hmm. Or, once again, if you use a travel agent, they can do that for you, too. Also through your My Disney Experience. So, um, and once you've set all of that up, you'll get a packet in the mail, and it's two or three weeks before travel, I think. Mm-hmm. And it has your luggage tags and all the little pertinent information that you need. I found some of those from our very original first trip to Walt Disney World. Wow. So and when was that? It was in April of 2008. Wow. If you can believe it. And the Disney's Magical Express. So they tear your booklet when you, they tear the little coupons and stuff out. So mine is kind of in pieces, but I'm ridiculous about saving things. So this is what the little booklet looks like. Or it looked like in 2008. Like, yeah. yeah, and it was it was all stapled and bound all pretty. And, you know, I a lot of you know that I used to live in Seattle before I moved to Florida. So I'm going to tell you what. When this little baby comes in the mail, you know that you are getting ready. And there's nothing like, you know, receiving a piece of mail from Disney. You know, and then you get these fancy little yellow luggage tags right here. Or they were yellow for they yours. They were yellow. They're not I always yellow. Yeah. This way. Yeah. You stayed so, at Animal Kingdom? Well, now this is the interesting part. So this particular one, we stayed at the All-Star Music for one night, the first night that we arrived, and then we transferred over to Saratoga Springs. And so um, this was for All-Star Music, but because All-Star Music is in the Animal Kingdom Resort area, mm. that's what is the AK on here. Mm-hmm. And I was a little bit confused when I first saw that because i i opened it and i thought oh gosh they've got us at the wrong resort oh no so that's freaked out i did send anybody to a tizzy yeah Mm -hmm. yep i went into an immediate tizzy and um and they made it better for me immediately when i called and they explained that so in case any of you guys are wondering you know you'd like if anybody's staying at any of the magic kingdom area resorts they're gonna have an mk on there now when do you decide how does it determine if you're gonna keep your luggage with you or if you're going to give it up to the magical express is that something that's give it up (laughs) i surrender my (laughs) luggage to mickey (laughs) you have to decide that before you check in before you before you leave at your home airport Mm -hmm. you need to decide if you put that tag on there 
it's gone. Yep. They're taking it. If okay. You don't put that tag on there. Or if for some reason your tags did not arrive, okay, you can still go to the check-in desk at the airport, hand them your basic luggage tag that you get for just checking your luggage, mm-hmm. and they can get your luggage that way. So okay. don't panic and freak if for some reason your luggage tag does not arrive. Oh, my gosh. How am I going to? You know, it's okay. Yep. They'll still take care of you. It's just, now, when you say give them the the regular luggage tag, you mean the people operating the the bus? Magical Express. The Magical at the, Express. At the counter is okay. where you would give it to them. Okay. So And then they retrieve it from retrieve baggage it. Now, you still have to sign up for Magical Express. I'm not saying you can just walk up there and willy-nilly at no. Orlando Airport. You say, have to hmm, sign for the bus Magical today. Express how far in advance? Um... I would well. I would do it as soon as you know. The minute you book your flight, you book and your know flights, you're using you know. it. You should do that but I've right had away. People flip flop and think they were going to get a car, and then at the last minute, in the last minute, I mean within a couple of weeks of travel, say, "Ooh, I've changed my mind. Okay, I want to yeah. go Magical Express." So you How can probably work? still sign up for it. Sure. What would you say? Two, three weeks prior to. I your, think or quicker than that. Yeah, maybe even a week before. Yes. Oh, definitely. Okay. It's just because, um, like I said, I've had clients at the last minute had forgotten to tell me i you know you ask them are you going to use magical express are you going to you know and you explain everything and did not tell me until the last minute oh by the way where's the best pick me up well we need to talk about that (laughs) and then we get them signed up quickly so Mm -hmm. yeah it's disney's gonna work with you if it's a last minute thing it's not I don't know. You just won't get your fun little package you just won't in the get mail. Your little fun little package, <laughs> that's right? really important. And that's the same way with last minute book. If you book a reservation at the last minute, you know, you might not get all the fun stuff. Yeah. But you're still going to get a ride to the resort. Okay. okay. So, so yeah. you get to the airport, you check in for your flight, mm-hmm. you've got your special little tag on your luggage, and it gets whisked away into pixie dust land, and you don't see it again for a long time. If that's the way you want to see it, yeah. Um, yeah. It and magically appears in your resort hotel room. Well, before it's we very magical <laughs> how this works. Jack, you don't know if I can handle you. <laughs> this is epi- it's very magical. They it take is. your bags and they haul it into the back of a big old truck. <laughs> Throwing oh, yeah. it on top of other people's luggage. <laughs> Some burly guy with like a cigar is going right. through all your undergarments. We got a hairy like shoulder. That. Yeah. <laughs> there go your bags. I'm picturing Pete, the cartoon character. With his <laughs> you know, that's it. Go through Pete's your tough. underwear. Yeah. Um, Okay, so you get to the <laughs> wow, you get to the um, airport. They throw some pixie dust on it and cram the back down, and off they go down I four, <laughs> throwing it out at each resort. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry, I'm done. Go ahead. <laughs> That's one. awesome. Okay, my favorite. Okay, so we land. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. Sorry. Okay. Go ahead. Landing in at the Orlando airport, you get off your plane. What happens? Well, you follow the masses of people towards baggage, and there are signs all over the place mm-hmm. for Magical Express. There's like level one, right? I don't remember the exact place. Okay. Yeah, it is in the main terminal building on side B, level side one. Side B, level one. Yeah, I remember mm-hmm. it's level one. In the ground transportation area. Okay. And there should be lots of signs saying this yes. way for Disney's Magical Express. Yes. You do not have to go to baggage claim if you, yes, you... I agree with you. Okay. Yes, you do <laughs> getting, not have getting to Getting this in the background, and I'm like, uh. Well, Gelman does. <laughs> <laughs> No, okay, you, you do, do not, not have to go to baggage no. claim. They take care of all of that for if you. If you have your tag on there, you just go to check in at their desk and then board your motor coach for Pixie Dust. Perfect. Land. Let's mm-hmm. talk about the motor coach. What is that like? Well, I've not been on one. Well, I have been on one once. You've been on Jackie, right? I have. Yeah. It's just a big. It, it's a bus. big, it's just a big bus. It's a big bus, and they're really comfy. It's like one of those really nice tour buses, you know, like you, a deluxe motor coach. Yes, yep. Mm-hmm. It's it, they've got a restroom in the back. Um, the ride is like 35, 40 minutes uh, to uh, Disney, Disney property, Disney World property. Resort. So now you know you have to understand that everybody's flying in and so these guys are putting some people on this bus some people on this bus you never really know because, which resorts you're going to go to because unlike Teresa, what Teresa said at the beginning of the show there is more than one bus <laughs> there are several. there's a fleet of buses mm-hmm. yep, they're all color coded <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's very important to know, though, about they. you don't know how many resorts it'll stop at. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
saying 35 to 40 minutes, that's being very good. Uh, first off. Well, she was saying till you reach Disney property, to- exactly. not your particular resort. Yeah, because mm-hmm. you at first, you know, you go 417 for those who aren't from here. That's kind of the back road that Disney helped get made. So that way you could have a quicker and faster way to get on property. Uh via their transportation and all that and so that ride is around that because motor coaches go slow Mm -hmm. if you are on one of the routes that has four stops at four different hotels you're looking at potentially being on the bus for another hour after you get to disney property and it's happened to my family and i before and at some point you just get off the bus and you're like can we find a cab to right. get taken back somewhere else. Well, because mm-hmm. especially if those people, if they if they've drugged their luggage on, then you got to wait for them to get their luggage off mm-hmm. if they happen to have it with them. And it can take a while. Yeah. So as Kathy Rowling says, pack your patience. Pack your patience, yeah, because it's. Or you could, it could be magical, like Jackie over there, well, and it could just pacey dust you straight to the. Well, and I'm going to side with Jackie on this one because I've actually ridden the Magical Express one time and. Um, when you're coming in from out of town, it's kind of all a part of that um, anticipation and the hype mm-hmm. that precedes your family vacation that you're really excited for. They have these TVs on the bus um, that kind of show you like what along the lines of what you would see on your TV at the Walt Disney World Resort. Mm-hmm. Tips the characters and, say hi to you. Yeah, it's um, it's fun. Mm-hmm. I don't know if they do this anymore, but when we were on, our bus driver was doing Disney trivia and... Um, it was kind of like a good, it's like the pep rally before the game, you yeah. know, type thing. At least you can look at it that way, unless you're, t- Teresa looks really oh, overwhelmed God, right I now. I hate the bus driver jokes, though, because they always do the, who knows what the acronym for Epcot stands for. And you have the one experimental prototype community of tomorrow, and then, you know, nope, every person comes out tired. Hardy, <laughs> <laughs> hard, hard, hard. Oh, my. I, I agree that you're going to, Walt Disney World, you're going to be happy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And if you got kids with you and you're traveling it and they're not too tired and everybody's excited, I, I understand the hype. I, I can get excited about things too, JL. Okay, well, then you're looking at me like, what well, I the understand heck is the whole, sitting over here you know, talking about? But on, you know, nights. on the other side, I also know that you know, you're tired from traveling and it's the last leg before you pull yeah. it into the... The resort. And I agree with Craig. You can reach a point if you're, you know, hitting, you know, an hour plus that you can be like, all right, come on now. But at the same time, you know, just keep it in mind that it might be part of the deal. Yeah. Well, and it's and free. I sort of, it is and free. it's free. That's the biggest. Right? I mean, they build it into your vacation and you don't. Well, they somehow, have. And you don't have to worry about traffic. You just mm-hmm. sit back and. Yeah. Take a nap. I was going to say, you mm-hmm. could even sleep. You, you know? know? Or yeah. how millions of people do, get on Facebook and say, I'm on my way to the magic. <laughs> you know, I'm on my yeah. way to my yeah. happy place. Yeah. Which is fine, too. You know, I mean. All right. Well, what about the return uh, the return trip where people, it goes from Magical Express to Tragical Express, as it's commonly known. Yeah. Um, how do you sign up for leaving your resort and knowing when you get picked up? How does that all work? How does that come together? Well, so the night before you are checking out, this little door hanger right here is going to be hanging on the doorknob of your resort hotel. And this is actually the sad door hanger. The because, Tragical Express door hanger. Let me see. Yeah, what makes it sad? Because it, means you're, it means you're checking out in the morning and there will be a piece of paper inside that tells you what time you're tragical express is going to be leaving the front um of your resort hotel okay, so they tell you what time it, you need to be there they assign it for you and notify mm-hmm. you they do and according to your flight and all according that, to your flight yeah right. typically it's your your magical express bus is going to leave your resort hotel three hours prior to your flight departing so um that's that's how that works generally and um you know but just make sure that you double check on your piece of paper that's in there because i haven't seen it change but it could so you definitely oh, your flight information um no your when, pickup time your pickup time and something that's really important to note oftentimes people want to be picked up at a different resort can't do it So if you're staying at the Polynesian, your Magical Express is going to pick you up at the Polynesian. So just because you have lunch reservations at, you know, 
Animal Kingdom Lodge and you're, you know, you can't be picked up at a different resort. It okay. has to be the one that you're checking out well, from. Well, that's important to know. Yeah. But if you if you do several resort stays, they'll pick you up at whatever resort you're at last. So if you, they will. It doesn't have to be the same resort you they dropped you off at. Yeah. Unless it's that's where you're staying the whole time, right? Well, what you would do is, so like, let's say if you had a split stay, so you would book for your first stay, you would book only the pickup from the airport part. Mm -hmm. Right. And then you wouldn't put anything for the return trip. And then on your second stay, you would book just the return from your hotel back to the airport. Right. So a lot of people get this confused with Disney Cruise Line transfers, which mm -hmm. do cost if you're doing a resort stay and a cruise in the middle, you would have Magical Express to take you to your resort. And then Disney Cruise Line transfers, which you pay $35 for one way to take you to the port. Uh -huh. And then Disney Cruise Line transfers, you would pay again to take you back to your next resort. And then take Magical Express back to the airport at the end. So there's a little, uh, that costs okay. a little bit of cost. And that, I I think that's confusing for a lot of people why one I there's was, a cost and one is not. I would think that would not. be kind of yeah. confusing. You know what I've seen before at the Orlando airport is sometimes they use those cruise line buses. Which is confusing. Which definitely adds to the confusion. Because right. you get all, oh, maybe I'm going on a cruise instead. And mm -hmm. then you realize, wait, You're not. I booked All Stars. Yeah. You know, so. All right. We had a listener that wanted to know how many people could get on a Disney Magical Express. How many people does the bus hold? Good question. What about 70, 80? It, well, it holds approximately 80 guests. 80 this guests. is what we found out for you. Um, also, uh, they wanted to know what is the drop off order, order of the hotels? Craig addressed that earlier. Mm -hmm. Do you want to reiterate mm -hmm. it for us? The drop off order of hotels? I don't know them all off the top of my head it's different i know it like each time. i know that or it used to be in the past i want to say that wilderness lodge with for some reason instead of being with fort wilderness it was on the same line as contemporary polynesian and grand floridian and so i remember whenever we were staying there we ended up having to go to all three other resorts first and then uh got dropped off at um Wilderness Lodge last, and then it happened another time similar that uh, I think at the All Star Loop it does the three All Stars, uh, Pop Century, and then probably now uh, back whenever I did it that was before Art what you call Art of Animation. I'm guessing those five are on there too, so that could be a pain unless it's on the one with unless I, I don't know. Well, it's wouldn't complicated. It, wouldn't it also mm -hmm. depend? It's so complicated. You would understand. <laughs> wouldn't it also depend on if you're going if who's on the bus with you Absolutely. and where they're yeah. going, you know, yeah, it does if it's depend. late, late at night, it might, you might go straight to your resort. Mm -hmm. Right. I've been on a magical express completely by myself. Yeah. Just me. When I flew in for, from Seattle for a mm -hmm. business trip, I was the only one on the bus. That's weird. It was weird. And you stopped at 30 resorts before you got to your, I did. Nope. No. <laughs> you <got> straight to <laughs> <I stopped at laughs> one. <laughs> also, um, talking about being picked up your pickup time, say your pickup time, at your resort is 9 a.m. You need to be there ready with everything you need at 9 a.m. Don't oh, yeah. don't saunter up. You need to be there in well, line waiting. They will leave without they you. They will leave without you. Oh, yeah. So be sure to, um, you know, just watch the clock. Don't dawdle along because you don't want to miss Because then that's going to make you run through the airport like a crazy person trying to get your flight. Mm -hmm. And that's not a fun way to end And especially vacation. if it's... Traffic, and you just don't that would know. Cause tears, right? Oh my yeah. gosh, I would Super be so stressed. Super unmagical, right? Yeah. It'd yeah. be, and I've seen people running through the airport. Yeah, it's no fun. And I don't know if they run Magical Express or not, but they were dragging stuffed Mickey's and crying children. So, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming crying mothers, crying mothers. So sad. Okay, we had another uh, listener that wanted to know how does one handle the "Has your luggage been out of sight?" question asked by Orlando Airport workers. That was asked by Mark Lake on our Facebook page. They don't ask that anymore, do they? Mm -mm. That's right, Mark. They no longer ask that question, so you don't have to worry about it. Um, also, Wait, sorry, when did they ever ask that? Back in the day. Way back when, when yeah. Roy was cutting the grass at the, the poly. I don't know. Days of yore. I thought that was a, wasn't that one that they asked you as you were going up to TS though, TSA though? TSA. And the was security check with your personal bags to ask if it's been out of your sight? Yeah. 
I used I to get so. asked it at check-in. I, do, I don't remember. I used to I don't get pay asked attention it at to that stuff. Yeah. That's if what I was my just bags asking. have been out of sight. Um, also, uh, we were asked, can the Magical Express accommodate a multi-hotel stay? If I'm going to split my stay across two different resorts, will they be able to drop me off at one and pick me up at another? We already talked about that. So, yeah. absolutely, yes. The answer is yes. Just make sure that you book it right. Right. That's that's the key that's right the there. Key. Yep. Pick up, drop off where you're starting, and pick up where you're ending, mm -hmm. and, and then put it on that because because it, it will be two different reservations. It won't be the same hotel reservation, so mm -hmm. it's got to be. Yeah, don't just try to put it all in one and. No. No, ain't gonna happen. And then you'll get or two fancy books. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Double the pixie dust and excitement, Jackie. In Eat your it. mailbox. Yep. Um, and did we have a question? Did we answer all of them, or was there a last-minute one that came in on Facebook? Let's that was it? Oh, there was one. I saw one on that Facebook. That was the came one. This morning. this morning. Was that it? John McMillan's it? question was the last one that came in this morning. Okay, about the yeah. multi-hotel stay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yeah. All right. Um, also, I mean, I think we've given you a pretty good overview. Can you guys think of anything else that needs to be mentioned? Uh, Gelman? Mm -hmm. Kind of. Uh, you addressed how they your bags get dropped off does disney have a service where uh before you leave and get on the magical express that you can drop your bags off so that way you don't have to take them on the shuttle with you no well the, if, yes they do what, wait what do you do you can you check mean... your luggage at the hotel so that way you don't even have to take it on magical express with you you don't oh, have to line up with it in the leaving, morning. Yes. When you're checking out on your leaving day. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. So, yeah, there's certain airlines that you can check in at the online check-in desk right at your resort hotel. So, it's fantastic. Um, and often what we used to do, so the flight out of Orlando to Seattle was it left Orlando airport at like six in the, in the evening. So, what we do is have breakfast and now – it's really important to note that the online check-in uh, for the airlines, they're only there until, I'd have to double check this, but typically 9 a.m. So you have to get it done first thing in the morning. So, because they've got to get all that luggage to the airport. So, it, you know, what you do is check it in. They'll do your boarding passes and everything right there. Do you do right this there. at the front desk at the hotel? Right at your hotel. So it's not in the front desk, but it's typically um, where the port of is. Okay. So you'll see um there kind of like be where they usually have the bell services people. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's usually where it is. And it'll be um it'll be right there and you'll see the um the big desk and they'll do like I said, they'll do your boarding passes, they'll check you in for your flights, um, they'll take your suitcases and anything that you want to check in. So um now if you have, you know, some people don't want to carry their carry ons with them like if they're going to go to the parks you know maybe they're going to go hit the park for a few hours before magical express pickup time you can leave your stuff with bell services they are glad to keep that stuff for you so that makes it really handy you know because then you don't have to schlep it all with you awesome so yeah all right anything else one other thing I wanted to add was a lot of times guests want to know when they can make a dining reservation so from the time they arrive at the airport for their vacation, how long does it take? And I always recommend at least it. You, I always recommend not making a dining reservation um, until like at least four hours after your flight lands. If you're using Disney's Magical Express, because you have oh, okay. to. Okay, I couldn't see where you're going with that. I'm like, what Sorry. does dining have to do? <laughs> That's what it does. I should have said that in the first place. Yeah, I think it was self-explanatory. Okay, well, I was just like floating off there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, because they want to, you know. So I land at, you know, I land at the airport at four o'clock. What time can I make a dinner reservation? If or I'm should taking, you? Right. Yeah. What like so you know, eight o'clock? I always do four hours at least. Well, if you're taking Magical Express, then you have no vehicle on property, so then you have to take internal buses, boats, yep. or, or or rickshaws buses, or whatever to or get monorails. you around. Yeah, mm -hmm. rickshaws. So yeah, you know, then you gotta. That's extra time there too. Yeah, and even if the sometimes bus... the little rickshaw man can't <laughs> run fast enough. That's right. <laughs> and even if you merging into traffic. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's you never know. So you have to allow the time because you don't want to be stressed out the first day you get there. Right. Yeah. Because you got a dining reservation at a certain time and you can't 
because you have to go to your own resort first to check in. So you can't, you know, it, just because you have a dining reservation, let's say at 1900 Park Fair, and the bus stops at the Grand Floridian. You can't get off, at Animal hop Kingdom, off for dinner. Get off for dinner. Yeah, I know you're not doing you that. You should be able to, but you do. You cannot. They will, they will not let you. A lot of stuff that I wouldn't have even have thought to have asked. You guys have been pretty good at covering. I'm impressed. Take an Uber. Wait, sorry. What go. did you just say there that you can't get off somewhere else? You cannot. Oh, you used to be able to. Yeah, they will not let you now. That's stupid. It, yeah. <laughs> so because if you like, you know, let's say you're staying at the Animal Kingdom, you know, and your luggage is is not you are they have your luggage they will not let you get off at a resort hotel that you're not staying at so how do they know why can't you just walk off well i mean people always try to work the system to work the system so a lot of people do it but they're not supposed to mickey frowns upon sometimes them. they ruin it for other I, people i just don't see the harm in getting off somewhere else it's they're still probably going to go to the hotel for other people so yeah well, the idea is that they want you with your luggage. Now, there's always debates on, is my luggage really on my bus? It's not. Right. It's in the, I already told you that, it's in the big... The white van. <laughs> with the cigar, cigar the smoking. Yeah. Cigar smoking. <laughs> white Harry beater. Ben, yeah. But it's just that magical <laughs> thing that goes on backstage that we're not Why, yes, ma'am, your luggage is right. Pro- I mean... Jackie. Okay, you know, go it's, ahead. It's, it's, you know... <laughs> Okay. (laughs) I think we've covered it, but in case we haven't, there's also a number of threads on disboards.com that we wanted to recommend to you guys so you could check it out. Um, Posters are over there discussing this stuff all the time. And um, Jackie, since you're a moderator, it'd probably be good if you could maybe give us a rundown of the threads that are up and running. So one that we have going is the Magical Express luggage time frame. Um, folks are always wanting to know how long it's going to take before my luggage arrives in my room. Now, like Teresa mentioned earlier, it's really, really important to keep things that you may need because your luggage may not show up until the middle of the night. So ideally it's supposed to, but it may not. So if, you know, if you're flying in in the summer and you want to go right to the pool, throw your swimsuit suit in your carry-on. Carry on you know, any medication, like she said, um, lots of really good tips on that thread. Um, the next one is using magical express when flying in from Canada. That one is, a, a sometimes it works a little different. So that one's a great thread. Um, so if you're flying in from Canada, you want to take a look at that. Um, we also have another, uh, thread. How long does it take? So, and that's kind of along the lines of how long is it going to be from the time I get, Um, from the time I land until the time I get to my resort. Now, one time we all decided we were going to go in a limo. So we made reservations um, through an outside company and we got a limo instead of taking Magical Express. I think it was about a hundred bucks, you know, by the time the tip was added. Um, It saved so much time. And I'm a firm believer that time is money on vacation. So, um, there's a lot of tips in that. How long does it take thread? You know, if you want to go out for dinner, take a take a limo. If there's a lot of you, there were eight of us. So we needed, you know, a big one. Um, we've got another great thread on there called Tell Me About Magical Express. And just so much information. Is that kind of like a FAQ? Um, it's not, in a sense, an FAQ. But it's it's folks that are sharing their experiences with Magical Express. Okay. So it's, you know, it's kind of along the lines of everyone has a different experience. And so people are just sharing, you know, what what their experience was and what happened, whether it met mm-hmm. expectations and so on and so forth. Yeah. All right. Yeah, really good. And then another thread that was just started a couple of days ago is little kids on airplane and magical express. So good tips for people that are traveling with little kiddos. So perfect. And are these in any particular forum on the boards? They are um let's see, on the transportation forum. Okay. Yep. All right. So hopefully you guys will check that out. Transportation form on disboards.com and uh, anything we haven't. Yeah, we'll have links in the show notes. And that way, anything that we haven't covered today, you guys could 
We will not have links on the show notes. I lied. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you're just going to have to do the legwork yourself unless you have a bat phone like Teresa where <laughs> somebody <laughs> sends you secret information and links. Um, <laughs> all right. I think that's going to do that. I do have people. It. Yeah, you do. We all need people. We need to be a little bit more like Teresa. I think that's going to do that. Do, do it. that. Do that. I've We're got, done. I have Iggy Azalea. My, do that. Do that. Okay. Um, right. The show's over, basically. And <laughs> we'll see you next week. Um, I'm not exactly sure what we're talking about. We had one topic picked out, and we might be changing it. So the mystery episode will be airing next week. Hope to see you there. And until then, trip out.